All right, we're possibly back with Pokemon Ultra Moon, and we're not in Rainbow Rocket's castle because I think I need a few extra levels here. So I will be distracting myself for a bit. I don't know how much of this I'm actually going to show since there's a reason why this was like all stuff. And I was originally kind of going to skip all of this, since it's not really all that interesting or anything. But I need the levels, so I'm going to take the time to fight a few things, and then I'll give it another shot. I have a few ideas, and I do want to actually check these few places. Also, that's a lot of damage. Free stuff. King's Rock. Yeah. Alright, so. Sucker Punch Gengar. Switch Yuri out to Yuki. Yes, that is bad. Well, that's just cheating. Uh, send out Fluffy to bait out the Psychic from the Kenna. I mean, it's going to die to Sucker Punch if it doesn't switch, but... It's kind of the point. And Gatlon is going to go for for Brick Break. So I think I can actually take advantage of that and hit super effective damage on the Gatlon. Except that it's slower. Okay. Well, I correctly predicted what was going on. And... I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, that's bad. Shit! You have Dragonite? That's just rude. Like, I could have made that work. With Yuki, hopefully pretty well. Okay, our Fluffy is gone. Okay, well, the Brick Break turned out to be bad for me now. I don't like it. Uh, Dragonite seems to be special based. Is there anything I can do to get rid of it reasonably? Lizzie. Well, luckily, half of my team is physical attackers. That means Sleech Life should be healing me by quite a bit if I don't get ruined. Which I will. Oh, Ippo avoided the attack. Exactly as I planned. Blizzard? That's not very nice. It's not also that effective. Well, Blizzy is gone. Okay, so far so good. Is your final Pokemon also a normal type? Wait, is... Blissey isn't a normal type anymore. Isn't it just Fairy? Because I'm not totally sure. Ambibom. Well, I was correct. I think I want to switch 
Ippo out. Because Hurricane is kind of annoying, but... Can I? Do I need Yuri later? Do I need Raku later? I think I'll switch Raku out, actually. And then... Guess I'll just protect with Damo, so no damage will befall my crusted rock. White protect would be good. Yeah, Ra Raku can take a hit to fight out of a paper bag or whatever. Whatever that means. Tamo might have to just take the rest of these guys out on its own. I think I want to switch back to Ippo though. And then... First impression the Ambibomb. I guess Iron Defense for Tamo. Not enough to take it out. But I got lucky. And I got unlucky. Wait, no, that's great. That's great. If it's going to go for another attack here. Hmm. Dragonite is two turns away from dying. So, provided Ambibomb attacks, and it should, I'll take it out with that. And then I'll protect with Damo. Alright. Alright. Strategies that work. Sometimes. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky with that. Do I want Ippo as my remaining member against a matchup? Not really. I can't just stay in. I can at least... Wait, no. Sucker Punch might actually take Dragonite out before it even matters. So even better. Alright. Alright, we're making good headway here. Demo finally got the level up. I guess that's the second level up, but whatever. Okay, this is going well. Matchup is obviously a physical attacker, so I honestly don't foresee it beating Damo in a one-on-one -on -one fight. It might have guts, though. Yeah, it still has Stone Edge, and it can't take that. Well, Yuri it is. I don't think I want to pot her with anything too complex here. Throw seeds at it and... Then stall until it's dead. I hope it's, if it tries to go for Damo. I don't think it will. Oh, it has Poison Jab. Oops. Also, it has Poison Jab. That's really bad. Also, I got Poison. That's also really bad. Or is that good? That might be good. If Yuri dies to poison, doesn't the heal go then to... Damo? Hmm. Also, Yuri is slower. Alright, my defenses are fully set. I cannot possibly be more prepared for this fight than I am currently.
So, is there anything this matchup can do? I have full defenses, even with a super effective hit, Damo can probably take it. Dynamic Punch, why? I don't understand. Why would you do that? What, you desperately want the confusion to come off? Is, is, is that really the hill you want to die on? Because I'll kill you on that hill. In fact, I would dare say you are already dead. Interesting that Ivao has a unique, unique image here. Okay, thanks for the heal, I guess. And yeah. Oh well, Charm, never gonna use it, but whatever. Once a day, huh? Okay. That's the last regular trainer in the area. So let's let's see what the plot has to offer. Don't oh oh that's Annabelle. I thought it was like some edgy Dano cosplay or something. I don't remember that. At all. Okay, random useless cameo here. I'll, I'll take it. I wonder if I could make use of that somehow. Okay, uh, I guess I can move to this section now. Let me save first. Definitely let me save first. I think I want E point the front, even though he's already the highest level Pokemon on my team. Okay, let's see if I can handle this fight. Oh boy, Dexio gave me so much trouble originally. And he's going to do it again, I can feel it. I hope not. I hope I can do something here. At least I have priority bug moves on my side. Those are a good way to start. Raichu. Not exactly the best. I kind of need to switch. Switch to what exactly? I'm gonna go for the Thunderbolt or the defensive boosts. Guess I can go for Yuri. Not too sure about that. Hmm, that's still plenty of damage. Leech Seed next. Okay, it's setting up defenses. That's good for me. That is definitely a good for me. Because I can now start buffing up my special defense so it can't actually hurt me anymore. And hopefully by the time Raichu is dead, 
Yuri is ready to sweep this entire fight. That is at least my plan here. Let's see, Psychic should do about as much as Thunderbolt did. Yeah, that's about right. Right, that's three layers. I'm still slower than it apparently. No, that was second layer. Now I should be faster, yeah. He doesn't have much he can do against me after I'm done setting up. I don't want to go too low on my health. Because he does have a Pokemon with a priority move. Also, crits are something to be afraid of. But I think now that the light screen is gone, I'm just gonna shred his entire team into tiny, tiny psychic type pieces. This is the power of Yuri's setup. If I can pull it off, I win. Like, this fight is already over. Battle Dance, Slow King is gone. The funny thing is, he also has a Metacross. Just like uh, Molain did. Molain had a Metacross too, and uh, it would have been a massive problem if I didn't Shred it apart with the... Oh, it lived. That's bad. That's worse. Uh, do you do healing? That's my priority question here. Do you heal your Pokemon? Because I can first impression you. Luckily I had this planned out, like if Ippo is my primary source of damage here. Some 100% safe damage at that. And then there's Alagasam. That's definitely how you pronounce it, shut up. I think a Sucker Punch will be enough. And you can su super mecha evolve as much as you want. It's probably not gonna save you with zero defenses. That could have been funny. Oh, it actually lived. Do I leave? Yes, I win. Exactly as I planned. Now, I would like to try to take this thing out. With literally anything else. But I don't think that's gonna be happening. I, I can try. Yes. Thank you for who's miss. I expected to get completely obliterated in this fight. I'm so glad that went fine. Fine and well. Okay. I have now... A Mega Storm, that's not gonna do anything for me. Good. I wish I had a Pokemon that has Mega Evolution. Not that I would be able to get a Mega Storm for it in time, but it would make this team so much more powerful. Yes? Yes? Nah. Okay, it has Dragon Breath as well. Mm, that didn't do much. Yes. Yes. Nyaa. I'm, I'm not planning to catch all the legendaries, by the way. This is just kind of an exception because it leads to more stuff to do. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. All right, so I got done. I kind of need you to do a solid for me game and actually allow me to get anything of value done here. Actually, have an idea. This probably isn't gonna work this time, but oh no, it did. And that's trading kiss. So actually, yeah, that worked out perfectly. Okay, so that's good. That's one down. Next up is the Mark Mortar. And how do I want to deal with this? I could switch to Yuki. Since Yuki is likely not gonna be doing much in this fight. Though neither is Yuri. So, I could switch to Yuri as well. Yuki at least is super effective against the other side eventually. And then here I want to switch Damo, since the Magmortar is going to attack Ippo almost certainly. I want to switch to... Fluffy, I guess? And we'll see how it goes from there. Fortunately, it's probably gonna set up some sun here. Why did you go for that? Also, raining kiss is annoying. I I can't say I understand why you chose to do this. Okay, yeah, well, Yuri is alive. Uh, it's gonna go for the Fire Punch instead. Or it's gonna kill Fluffy. Maybe it's not gonna kill Yuri. Maybe I can go for the Stun Spore. I mean, if it does, that's still good for me. I can just Rock Slide and deal some damage. Yeah, yeah, okay. Light screen is completely fine. Completely irrelevant. For what I'm doing, so is Comfy missing. And still acting like it got hit in its animation. So, I want to bring... Ippo back. But what if it attacks Fluffy? Well, Raku was able to take a hit from it. And if it's not able to take a hit, it will at least kill it anyways. So, let's see. I mean, I'm hopeful that Raku will take a hit. Okay, okay. Could have gone better. Ideally, I would have switched... <sighs> Ideally, I would have switched Ippo out. But, alas, that did not come to fruition. So that leaves me with 
Volcarona to deal with. Which I'm not sure if I can actually handle this with 83 HP remaining. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. Raku is going to die pretty much regardless. Try to throw up paralysis on it, I guess, and then rock slide. If I survive, I win. Oh, Fluffy avoided it. Even better. Don't care about Raku. Raku can go die. Please don't kill me with training kiss. That, that, that would be ideal. Or rather, it would be required. Please take the Volcarona out. You suck. This would be fine. If I could rely on Ippo to actually not get switched out because of its ability. Oh, this is so bad. I have to go for it, though. Fluffy isn't gonna take another hit. But I have Sucker Punch and First Impression. Both are not very effective. Wait, shit. Let me think. Volcarona is Buck and whatchamacallit. Sucker Punch is gonna do regular damage while it resists Buck. So I should Sucker Punch Volcarona. And Fluffy dies. Do I have any potential use for Fluffy later on? No, I don't. Can't see any potential use later on. So go for Trash. That sucks, but I'll take it. I have a fighting chance now. I just need to beat this other side. If with nothing else, with Damo. It was badly gimped now, though. I want to send Yuki out first. I would preferably set everything up with Damo while. I still have Pokemon remaining. Okay, well, I'm now very gimped with Ippo. That's really bad. But like, all its Pokemon are special attackers anyways. So Iron Defense is not gonna be relevant. I think I'll start with Rest and see how this goes. Don't like that. That's... that's bad. It's not dealing so much damage that I can't handle it, though. So if you're gonna focus on Damo, I can maybe slowly take you out with Ippo. Maybe. Yeah, this is less than ideal. Oh, you're going for Ippo instead. Okay. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, Ippo is out. Forced to go for Yuki. But yeah, special attackers is not exactly ideal, especially when they 
can kinda hurt me. But this is where my game plan begins. Well, there's not much you can do about Yuki right now, so I should be fine here. That's good. I was hoping it wouldn't take Comfy out, so Damo can wake up. Damo is now completely safe from being negatively affected by that. Sunny Day could be bad if they have like Solar Beam or something. Don't think any of them have relevant abilities though. There was no reason for me to use Iron Defense actually. I just used it because I didn't want to waste Protects or anything like that. Or nothing. Uh, is Icicle Crash or Iron Head more effective? I only have one I Icicle Crash so I need to save that potentially for later. And here I'll just go for the Toxic. Oh, it does have that. Oh shit, Damo's dead, isn't he? No, because Damo is a god among men. Okay, that's extremely good. Because I can use Protect and it will presumably try to kill Damo using another Solar Beam. That makes sense to me. Meanwhile, I will kill it with Iron Head that will definitely not miss. Yes. No? Wait, yes. So, even when you use them in one turn, they are separate animation. I mean, that makes sense, but this is Pokemon. It usually doesn't make sense. Damo is still, like, actually dead. But it will hopefully give me a turn to hit Lilikant with Icicle Crash. Nicely. Actually, if I switch to Ippo here... Because I presume this thing is going to attack. Right there. Helping hand? What? Okay, I won. Hippo gets to use priority right. First impression. Hope it works. Yep. Good god, what a fight. But I would be completely okay with something like this being the standard for fights for me against su stuff like Archie. But the problem is that uh, Archie basically one-shots everyone. Okay, this one should be the last one and then I need to go back to Kagetora and beat him. But before we do that, I'm actually going to do something different. I intentionally left this one last. The list I was looking at for the locations had this person like second on the list. And I figured since the place I want to go after this is right here, I figured I'll leave this one last. Oh, oh that was a crit. Anyways, that was pretty decent. Got a few levels out of it overall. Okay, let me heal myself and... Then let's head for the... thing I never did. There's a Cantonian gym. I may have entered this and been like, oh, it requires money. And eat something dumb. And ignore it. 
or not. But luckily this place does get harder after you finish the game, so it's not like I'm just going to stomp this place. So for a moment I thought this was gonna be like... Oh hey, you get to do one of the worst puzzles in the game. Series. Okay, so... It's all, all... People. So I'm, I'm looking at the names here. And I don't really see any kind of... Team. So this is a bad matchup. Uh, okay, will do. So, yeah, I'm looking at the list of the names of these trainers. In English, they are Adrian, Blair, Lee, and Dallas. I don't know if I'm just missing something, but I don't see any kind of... I don't, I don't see any kind of team here. They're all uh, the beauty type of character too, so the character class is the same. But the Japanese names actually have a team to them. Kohime, Mahime, Gohime and Chiyohime. So they all end in Hime, which is words. So I'm not sure about that, that's weird. Okay, so there's a few non-trainers here too. Perfect recreation. But there's no terrible puzzle here. I'm gonna guess this is gonna be Jinx, so... Actually, no, I'm gonna give it this way. Yep, ADM it is. Let's see... One is indeed Jinx and that makes this a bad matchup. Yuki actually works again, surprisingly enough. Trying to see if there's like... Uh, there's some dumb trivia about how... How... Uh, how this game's obviously pander to the... Kondo people, which go figure. This gym is here, so... Does do that. Now these fights aren't particularly difficult. They're all one Pokemon and it's not very impressive honestly. Uh Sinkino. Uh guess just a petal dance will do. Oh everyone's favorite. So, you're gonna do something of value here? No, because you're probably dead. Okay. Am I getting a level yet? Yeah, this should be the last regular trainer. Oh, you have to beat all four. Okay.
Unfortunately, I'm kind of missing a key feature here. Now, Lurontis is again a bad matchup. Raku should be decent. Assuming I don't get like one shotted here. Which is always a possibility. Okay, I should be fine. Sweet scent. That's not very much of a move, is it? Okay. So that just leaves the... Yeah, you're not. Shouldn't have positioned you yourself this way. Alright, so that leaves you. I think I'll put Raku in the front again. Okay. Let's see. Retula Machamp. More like Machump, but who am I to judge? Even say anything, but you're done. That doesn't really do anything for me. Okay. Not quite satisfied though. So Okay. No. I I, I saw him standing there. Please. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop recording for today, because that's something I want to do. I I was not aware how this guy would be positioned here, but I knew he would be here. So I'm going to ignore the other trainers, because I don't care. But this guy, this guy is actually a real fight. So I'm gonna have to actually heal Yuki, probably. And since I'm already in here, and he's not here every time, I'm gonna have to make an effort to actually save before I start the fight. I don't actually know what his team consists of fully. I know he's all about them dragons, so I'm gonna lead with Yuki. So let's see what uh, Ryuki has for us. He was in uh, Sun and Moon 2. He was one of the uh, possible challengers for you as a champion when you do the league again. Which is a really cool idea, but this guy out of all of them was just kind of random. Like, he had no role. Now he does. Or, well, he doesn't have a role, but he appears here. And he does appear here before the league as well. Just... I never came here. Alright, so... He starts out with Garchon, which probably has Earthquake and one-shots me. Please don't one-shot me. 
All right. Icicle crash should one shot it, just on the basis of four times weakness. Also, I'm not under leveled for him. I'm honestly surprised by this. Turtonator. Fire Dragon? That's like the worst matchup for me. Maybe I can earthquake this thing. Oh, I'm, I am actually faster at least, so I can get some damage in. That's not that much damage. But I, I, I would say that Yuki did a decent amount of work here. Uh, Turtonator is slow. I already concluded that. Yuki is actually not that slow of a Pokemon. Uh, how do I want to deal with this? I'm not sure if Hippo is faster. It's not super effective anyway, so it's actually not that helpful. Fluffy would probably be faster, but it's a fire type, so I don't really want that. Maybe I'll go with... I, I think I'll go with Raku, and I'll nuke this thing with... with uh, my C move. Well, shit. That's unfortunate. The other unfortunate thing is that that's a Dragonite. The, I could have used my Ice Pokemon on it, but then again, Garchomp is probably a bigger threat. Let's see what kind of damage I'll be dealing here. Not quite enough, but effective enough. Hurricane. Can you take that hit? Yes, you can. That should be enough. Okay. Two down. Three to go. Who got another level up? Rampa. That is... Rampa is a pure dragon, right? So, I'm just gonna start off by paralyzing it so I can do some kind of setup or something. Not really sure what. Uh, fly is 90 base power and Night Slash 70, but I have a realistic chance of critting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that. Oh, that's a crit, all right. Oh, it has... Berserk? Why? Why does it have Berserk? Or rather, what is Berserk? For a moment I thought it was Anger Point. If you crit, it immediately gets maxed attack. Which... Is bad. I can... Wait, no, no. I was, say I, I was gonna say that I can't put Yuri in because... Drumba might have Sap Zipper, but it can't. It can't have Sap Zipper. Right, it's... It's weak to fighting. So it's not a pure Kraken top. What the hell is Drumba? Why do I not remember? I'm questioning my life choices. It's not normal. I don't think it's normal. It would be weird. Okay, Turtonator is back. Let's hope it's slow. Yeah, it's slow. That wasn't quite enough, but I think I'll be able to win here. Overheat? Yeah, I don't expect Fluffy to survive that, but... That's fine, that's fine. Yuri is gonna be faster, so it should be safe for me to throw Yuri to kill this thing off. Of course, that means I'm locked into Petal Dance and being unable to switch, regardless of what the last Pokemon is. But I don't think that's the worst possible thing I could do. And the last one is... Komoo. Not fun. Komoo is not a fun. 
Let's see what kind of damage. That's actually for resisted hit. That's pretty respectable. Also, Yuri took that hit like a beast. I would like to get paralysis on you so I can slowly rip you apart. And while I'm at it, I might as well see. So, Drumpa is indeed a normal dragon. That's weird. I don't know, it's... it's... I don't know new Pokémon. I can't have Dumbo fight this thing because I paralyzed it. So, Ippo has to do... Ippo is not very effective. At all. Did I, did I fuck up? Did I actually fuck this up? So that's 85 and leech life is 80. So liquidation is my most powerful move to use here. Except for first impression, but I'm gonna want those defense drops. Yeah, the problem is if Ippo faints, I lose. That or I'm gonna have to stall this thing out to the point of having to like like I'll have to stall it out of all of its PP if I want to win. But I think I'm safe now. Of course, there's sm one small problem here. And that's that Damo has to come in to the front first, and getting Damo out of the front safely would be kind of impossible. So I'm just actually gonna have to have Damo lose. Oh, it has flash cannon. Well, Damo couldn't have stalled this thing. That's fair. I wonder if it possibly could have. Some kind of priority, though. I don't know combo or move sets. I don't know anything about Gen Seven Pokemon. So, wow! Despite all of it, this came down to the wire. Gradation is one hundred percent accurate, right? Yeah. You know, it would have been smarter for me to use first impression since I would have had the priority. So I could have theoretically still fucked that up. Mm, yep. That was fun. Ooh, a dragon scale, that's not bad. Okay. And I don't care about the rest of this place anymore, so... Okay, I called Psycard for this. So, I... I fought... I fought Dexio before. And I completely stomped him. Thanks to... Thanks to uh, Yuri's powers of boosting, and now I'm gonna have to fight Dexio again. This is really dumb. Why didn't you make one of these fights against Sina? Why is it Dexio? You have a model for Sina, you fight Sina, depending on the version possibly, but then Sina gets shafted in favor of Dexio twice. Why? I don't understand what's the point of that. <sighs> The problem is, like, I, I I, I know I've mentioned Archie several times here, but not that you've probably seen any of those times, and you might not see this one either. The problem with Archie is that the easiest way for me to deal with his bullshit would be to set up Yuri to destroy the entire team, but every single Pokemon on his team has ice moves or something super effective to Yuri. 
So there's actually no place for me to do that. Well, we're gonna find out next time how that goes, probably. Oh, Metacross actually took that hit. Oh. Oh shit. That's bad. Uh. Is Sucker Punch gonna be enough? Probably. I don't really like using Ippo here though. Since Ippo has more levels than everyone else, but... Oh, that might actually work perfectly. I took too little damage for it to work perfectly. I'm not gonna take that. Force me to switch, please. Actually, I could have switched to Raku safely with Zen Headbutt. To have more health on Ippo. Yeah, Raku, Raku can handle this. That could have been bad if it mattered, but luckily Metacross is out. Alright, that leaves me with his new addition to the team. Psygarde. I'm hopefully gonna be mostly fine here. Psygarde isn't exactly the most threatening Pokemon in that form. I mean, I wouldn't say it's trivial, but it's definitely something. I wonder if Yuki can actually handle this. I would be very hopeful. Yeah, the 10% form is not that bad. Camouflage, what? What is this move and why do people use it? Now it's normal type. Okay, well it it bailed itself out from getting one-shotted by that. Very clever. Gonna punk you in the head. Uh Dexio, you do realize that you did have offensive options. Super effective ones at that. Right? Anyways. Anyways, that is the last thing I know I can do. No. Wait, that's wrong. There's one more thing I forgot completely about. The final Ace Trainer or whatever. I forgot about him until right now. Yeah. The ultimate battle. I can already see that you have a really dumb gimmick. And honestly, based on that alone, I don't think you're going to be... ...insanely difficult. So you start out with a carbink. So it's only right for me to start out in the same way. Except Damo is several times stronger than you and your dumb light clay gimmick. I ex... I would assume you're going to switch out after you're, you've set up your screens, because that only makes sense to me. Oh, you're just set up everything. Fair enough. I mean, I'm going to set up everything as well. Assuming you don't have Toxic, you can't beat me. 
So what else do you possibly have that could could actually help here? Like I I can't think of anything sensible. Like you 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 set up you you set up light screen and reflect. Wait, it's telling me it's for five turns. But it's not gonna be only five turns because you should have light clay which extends them to seven. You don't have another move. Do you want to be set up on? Because I could have done this in several ways. I decided to go with the mirror match because I can, but I could have very easily just set up an ungodly abomination. Of dance right here but I didn't have to and I don't think there's much you can do to beat me Torkoal so here comes the second part of his dumb gimmick it's all Pokemon that immediately set up a weather as they come in and it has Extension. Okay, so when the F looking at the lower screen, when the effect is supposed to end, it's gonna start showing that it's actually extended. Gotcha. So yeah, he extends all of all of the weathers as he comes, and yeah, that's not the most efficient strategy. I don't think Sola... Wait, actually, that's a special attack that's gonna deal some damage. Just a bit, though. God, that was actually pretty bad. I just realized that most of his team is special based. So that didn't really pan out the way I hoped. There's no way I can take another one of those, though. I mean, I can use rest and survive for an extra turn, but that's not gonna help me. I'm still gonna die. But I guess at this point I'm just trying to stall out any amount of extra turns. So now I can't survive, so I need to switch. I think I'll just switch to Yuri, honestly. I'm not sure what I'm going to do afterwards, because it's going to burn me. And that's less than ideal, but... I forgot to took the leftovers off. Oh, that did more damage than I was expecting. Okay, it's going to use fire now. Hippo is probably the one that can take the hit best. Maybe. Is it gonna be overheat? I think it's gonna be overheat. Fire blast. Hippo didn't take it at all. Okay. Okay. Okay, those rocks were actually really bad for me. Who would have thought? Well, I'm faster, so... I can just take this thing out. But I have a better idea. I'm gonna fly. It's going to die to the toxic. And the next Pokemon will take the hit from my fly. I'm sure there's no way this plan could fail. Ninetales. Not what I was expecting. But we're going ice now. Oh, that, that worked out to my advantage. 
And honestly, I think I should switch to Yuki. But do I want to? Like, do I want to switch to Yuki? Because I'm gonna have to take the Blizzard. Guess it's not that bad. Well, it was gonna use something different, but even that didn't really matter, I guess. Alright, that's another Pokémon down. Two more for the ultimate trainer to be done with. Gigalith. Well, it's Sandy in here. I can hit you super effectively with Iron Head. Probably not gonna do that much damage. Because this thing has physical defense of legendary proportions. And I think Sandstream increases its defense by another 50%. That also applies to me though. Also, I'm getting really lucky. Can I get a flinch here? Yes, I can. Thank you kindly. Goodbye to you, sir. One more. Pelipper. Coming in with some drizzle action. Not really sure what to do about this. I mean, I can bicycle crash it with Yuki. And yeah, it has Hurricane, which is annoying. Because that's actually... Okay, I would say that I, I hate that I always miss, but I just won through misses and flinches against the Gigalith. So I think I've forfeited my right to complain. Alright, so, next up is Raku. Raku is hopefully faster than a Pelican. And I will get Paralysis off. I was wrong. Raku is dead as shit. Okay. Raku is 108. Yuri is 125. Is Yuri faster? I might still very much lose this. Hurricane can't miss right now. Because of the rain. Please be faster. Please be an idiot. Oh my god. What is this luck? It was stupid, and I survived with no health. Take the Petal Dance. It's not gonna take it out. But with this, I should be able to outspeed it with something. And by something, I mean Fluffy, who's weak to Hurricane. So I need to outspeed or survive. Actually, rain lasts for three more turns. Hurricane will take me out. I think Trash will be enough to take Pelipper out though. So I don't want to risk Rock Slide missing. And there we go. Ultimate Trainer has been defeated. Whew. And for that I get a life orb. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yes. Okay. Okay. I am absolutely okay with this. And with that, we're done with roaming around the land doing post-game battles. For the final number. 
final-ish number of I need to heal my team before I can tell you. This isn't quite final because I still have a few more rocket grants to fight, I hope. So if I really need those levels, I have a way to get just a bit more before I need to start thinking about my life choices. So... Damo is 58, Fluffy and Raku are 59, Yuri and Yuki are 60, and Ippo is 61. That's disgustingly unbalanced and I hope to fix it with a few grunt fights. Next time, back to the main meat of things. Bye.